The ancient city of Tol El Hammam, located in the southern Jordan Valley, was a major Bronze Age city in the southern Levant. Occupied since the Chalcolithic period, it was potentially the largest city in the region by the Middle Bronze Age. However, around 1650 BCE, the city was suddenly and violently destroyed. Researchers have been excavating the site and have found evidence that suggests the destruction was caused by a cosmic airburst. The abrupt destruction of Tol El Hammam has prompted researchers to consider unusual destructive forces beyond warfare or earthquakes. The collaboration between archaeologists and impact scientists highlights a new approach to understanding this event. Extensive archaeological excavations at Tol El Hammam have revealed a distinct terminal destruction layer containing high concentrations of charcoal and ash, consistently dated to 1650 BCE. The state of the ruins within this layer indicates immense devastation. The palace complex and city walls were flattened, human remains show extreme disarticulation and skeletal fragmentation, and scattered pottery shards suggest a directional force. The archaeological record at Tall El Hammam reveals unusual findings that deviate significantly from the aftermath of warfare or earthquakes. Pottery shards have melted outer surfaces, some with signs of bubbling. Mud brick and building plaster fragments appear bubbled and melted, and roofing clay shows signs of partial melting. The thick, extensive destruction layer containing widespread evidence of extreme heat and pressure affecting various materials across the city indicates a single, rapid, and exceptionally powerful event. This pattern is unlikely to result from prolonged warfare, which typically leaves more localized damage and different evidence, or from earthquakes, which primarily cause structural collapse rather than widespread melting. Definitive confirmation of the observed directional scattering of debris could provide crucial information regarding the source and path of the destructive force, underscoring the necessity for meticulous spatial analysis of all archaeological discoveries at the site. Temperatures exceeding 2,000 degrees Celsius melted pottery and mud bricks at Tol El Hammam. A green, glass-like material, similar to trinitite, suggests a rapid energy transfer. Shocked quartz, found in the destruction layer, indicates intense pressure, suggesting a cosmic impact or airburst. Furthermore, researchers have identified tiny diamondoids, also referred to as nanodiamonds or diamond-like carbon, within the destruction layer. These materials are believed to have formed from wood and other plant life present in the area when subjected to extremely high temperatures and pressures. The creation of diamondoids from organic materials requires a rapid and intense application of both heat and pressure, providing further support for the hypothesis of a high-energy event such as an airburst. The destruction layer at Tal El Hammam has unusually high salt concentrations, up to 25% in some samples. The airburst and its shock waves may have propelled salt from the nearby Dead Sea into the atmosphere, depositing it over the city. Alternatively, the impact may have redistributed salt crystals from the Dead Sea's shores. The high salt levels align with an airburst near the Dead Sea, potentially mobilizing and depositing significant salt quantities. Evidence also suggests a consistent southwest to northeast directionality in the distribution of various types of debris within the destroyed city, including pot sherds, charred grains, and bone fragments. If this directional pattern is definitively established, it could provide valuable insights into the direction and angle of the proposed airburst event or the associated blast wave. While initial reports of this directionality were met with some skepticism, further evidence has been presented that strengthens this interpretation. The destruction of Tol El Hammam is strikingly similar to the 1908 Tunguska event in Russia, where a meteoroid exploded in the atmosphere, flattening trees over a vast area. The Tunguska airburst released around 12 megatons of energy, and the Tall El Hammam airburst was likely similar or slightly larger in magnitude. The Tall El Hammam event was approximately 1,000 times more powerful than the Hiroshima atomic bomb. Researchers used impact calculators to estimate that a small asteroid, similar in size to the one that caused the Tunguska event, could have been responsible for the Tall El Hammam event. The parallels between the proposed Tol El Hammam event and known airbursts like Tunguska provide a plausible mechanism for the widespread and catastrophic destruction observed at the archaeological site. The Tunguska event serves as a real-world example of the immense destructive potential of a relatively small celestial object exploding in the atmosphere. By drawing these comparisons, 
researchers can better understand the possible scale and effects of the event that may have obliterated Tall El Hammam. The cosmic airburst hypothesis is debated. Critics argue that the quartz grains at Tall El Hammam lack definitive planar deformation features seen in impact sites. They suggest the observed lamellae are irregular and could be formed by terrestrial geological pressures. Alternative formation mechanisms like lightning strikes or tectonic activity further complicate the interpretation. The debate highlights the importance of rigorous methodology and the need to exclude terrestrial explanations for the observed microstructures. Some researchers suggest that the melted materials found at Tal El Hammam could be due to advanced Bronze Age technology rather than a cosmic event. This is because much of the melt glass is similar to remelted ceramics and ancient slags, byproducts of metallurgical processes. Therefore, further analysis is needed to determine the cause of the melting. The geochemical evidence supporting the airburst hypothesis has been criticized. Some scientists argue that the data is insufficient and the focus on platinum and iridium is not conclusive. A more comprehensive analysis is needed to establish a match with known meteorite groups. Concerns about the accuracy of the EDS method used to measure PGE concentrations have also been raised. The lack of definitive geochemical evidence of extraterrestrial material remains a significant issue. The airburst theory's methodology and data interpretation have been questioned, including concerns about image manipulation and the analysis of human remains. Some experts suggest the destruction at Tal El Hammam is consistent with typical ancient mud brick structures and accuse the authors of cherry picking data. These issues raise concerns about the research's rigor and transparency, and currently, the mainstream archaeological consensus does not fully endorse the airburst claim. The destruction of Tal El Hammam around 1650 BCE, with its location and fiery devastation, has been linked to the biblical account of Sodom and Gomorrah. This connection is supported by similarities between the archaeological evidence and the biblical description of the destruction. The proposed link between Tal El Hammam and the biblical city of Sodom is controversial. Discrepancies in dating and location, lack of scientific proof, and the risk of looting and illegal antiquities trade raise concerns. The debate highlights the challenges of using archaeological evidence to confirm or refute religious texts. The Tal El Hammam airburst devastated the region, making the soil unsuitable for farming due to salt influx from the Dead Sea. This environmental damage led to widespread abandonment of settlements and a significant population decline known as the Late Bronze Age Gap. The area remained uninhabited for approximately 600 years, highlighting the long-lasting impact even small cosmic events can have on human society and the environment. In conclusion, scientific evidence suggests that Tal El Hammam was destroyed by a cosmic airburst around 1650 BCE. The connection to Sodom is intriguing but controversial. This catastrophic event reminds us of the potential for sudden cosmic events to reshape human history.